Springtime has been getting warmer with climate change. This view shows that much of the United States has been warming up, especially Colorado and the Southwest since 1970. And so much of what I talk about on TV, whether it be tropical development, heat wave and droughts, the shrinking of the snow and the ice caps, the record setting wildfires is related to a warmer world. That's because of the increase in carbon dioxide. Every molecule of CO2 sort of acting like a feather in a down comforter, trapping heat that would otherwise escape into space and causing the planet to get warmer. Globally, regionally, locally, we can have cold snaps and we will. That's weather. Seasons differ. Those are seasons, but globally the temperatures are getting warmer because of the increase in CO2. It changes the heat balance. The sunlight warms the surface. That's visible light. The Earth radiates back to space infrared light, and it's the CO2 that traps that heat and causes the planet to get warmer. The CO2 lingers in the atmosphere. We call it residence time for centuries. Matter of fact, the CO2 from the first Model T car is still in the atmosphere warming the planet. Now we're a little over 420 parts per million of CO2. At the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, it was way down at about 280 parts per million. This graph goes up and down because we measure the CO2 at different places. Barrow, Mauna Loa, Samoa, South Pole, and then we take an average. The growing season is why it goes up and down because the plants breathe in some of that CO2. Yes, it is plant food, and then when they exhale it, the CO2 goes up. But Globally, the average is 420. That's what I put on my weather report every single night. That heat trapping gas is causing the planet to get warmer and we're seeing that all of the hottest years occurring just in the last couple of decades. We had a few years cooler back at the early stages of the Industrial Revolution, but now that trend is clearly up and it looks like we're going to see those conditions continue. We did in 2023, they'll continue in 2024 as well, although the El Nino La Nina does have a sl slight effect on those global temperatures. But we've warmed about two and a half degrees Fahrenheit in the last 70 years. These stripes indicate how much warmer globally. It was much cooler weather back in earlier generations. Oh, there's mine. You can see now we're really warming up for future generations. And that's where the shift is really going to affect our children, our grandchildren, the future generations, but it's not baked in. If we can limit the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere, it doesn't have to go all the way up to that much warmer. We can stop making things worse. And that's indeed what we should be doing for the sake of the planet. You want to learn more? There's a book. I was one of the writers of it, as a matter of fact. It's free. Just use that QR code for a free download of the world's littlest book on climate, 10 facts in 10 minutes about CO2. Hope you have a great April. Thanks for listening.